world's largest and most powerful aircraft in the world, the AN-225 Maria. Dream is how the word is translated from Ukrainian. The Maria is a marvel of engineering, and it has captured the attention of aviation enthusiasts around the world. The Maria is a testament to the power of human ingenuity, and it serves as a reminder of what we can achieve when we work together and push the limits of what is possible. However, everything has changed. On February 24th, 2022, Russia launched a full-scale attack on Ukraine. And three days later, on February 27th, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that Russian forces had destroyed the aircraft. Вчора ми втратили, на жаль, нашу мрію. Але стару мрію, а нову ми зараз будуємо. Слава Україні! In this video, I will tell you about the history of this aircraft, main features, and how it has been operated over the years. We will also take a closer look at how the Russians destroyed the largest and most powerful aircraft. Development of the aircraft began in 1985, and the first flight was in 1988. The airplane was designed and built by the Antonov Design Bureau, which is a Ukrainian aircraft manufacturing company. The Maria was originally designed to transport the Buran spacecraft. However, after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the program was discontinued. Maria remained in a hangar until the early 2000s when Antonov Airlines converted it into a transport aircraft. The design is based on the earlier AN-124 Ruslan. The Maria's designers had to come up with some innovative solutions to make the plane work. To support the plane's massive weight, for example, the landing gear had to be strengthened. The Maria also has a unique tail configuration, which includes two vertical stabilizers instead of one. The Maria is the largest airplane in the world. It has a wingspan of 290 feet and a length of 275 feet. It stands 59 feet tall and has a maximum takeoff weight of 1,280,000 pounds. The Maria is not only massive, but is also capable of carrying an incredible amount of cargo. Its cargo hold has a length of 142 feet, a width of 20 feet, and a height of 14 feet. It can carry up to 500,000 pounds of cargo, which is the equivalent of 50 elephants, or 45 mid-sized cars. The Maria has been used to transport a wide variety of cargo, including construction equipment, medical supplies, turbines, generators, and even live animals. In total, the AN-225 Maria has set 240 world records, which is absolutely unique in aviation. In 2001, the airplane set a record for the heaviest single cargo item ever transported by air. The Maria transported a 187.6 metric ton generator. The airplane also set a record for the longest cargo item ever transported by air. In 2009, the Maria transported a 42.1 meter long piece of drilling equipment from Prague to Perth. But last year, everything changed when the Russian army launched a full-scale offensive against Ukraine. The Maria was based in Gostomel, as were most of the Antonov Airlines aircraft. On the day of Russia's full-scale invasion, the airport was one of the first to be hit by the Russians. The first cruise missile arrived there at 6.30 a.m. On the first day, the National Guard defending the airport shot down six helicopters, preventing the Russians from landing heavy equipment and most of the troops. However, to avoid losses, they retreated. Aviation expert Valery Romanenko suggests that Russian troops could have deliberately destroyed the AN-225, including blowing up the plane from the inside. How is Maria lying now? The nose section is torn off and the wings have also fallen. That is, the bomb was detonated in the area of the center section. They deliberately destroyed the plane to the point where it could not be restored. However, is it possible to restore the destroyed plane or build a new one? On November 7, 2022, Yevhen Havrilov, CEO of Antonov, announced the start of construction on the second AN-225 Maria aircraft. Work on the new airplane is underway in a secret location. The second AN-225, which was never completed, 
will be equipped with parts of the destroyed aircraft and new parts. Therefore, after the war is over, I sincerely hope to see the new Moria aircraft in the sky. Also, if you liked this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel, and enable notifications to stay in touch. We'll see you soon.